Hi guys, we're back at Smart Fishing. I want to welcome you to the tiny little super dinghy. And we're going to go hopefully slay some fish. So stay tuned to Smart Fishing, baby. Woo! It's a very windy day today, but what we're fishing with is a 12 foot super dinghy. Me and Sam have done this up. We've done all of the floor, the transom, all of the front's been built in. It's a cracking little boat. So what we've got today, we've got one spin rod, one float rod, and one bottom rod basically for anything. So fingers crossed between all this, we can catch some fish. What I've got power in this little beast is just a four horse Mercury four stroke and it'll push me about four knots. That's all I need for a little bit of bait fishing. We're gonna start off for the bass. Hopefully we start seeing some other fish. First fish of the day. <laughs> oh, he hasn't come off, has he? Was he swimming towards me? Something weird's going on. Is he still on? Oh, he's swimming towards me. <laughs> there we go. First fish of the night. And it's an absolute tiny little school bass. Well, there you go. Not bad for a few casts down. Hopefully, we get a big one. Changed up my rig a little bit now, guys. I've got the float rod out. All I've got is a little pencil float, and I've got a trace of eight pound fluorocarbon to two little dropper loops. And then there's a tiny little size eight hook. All I'm gonna do is put little strips of mackerel on and just chuck the float out the back while I set up the uh, bottom rod. And then we've got a multitude of species we can catch from bass on the lure, garfish and mackerel on the float. And then we'll have a bottom rod out for the bream and hopefully we can catch some cool fish. So we've got the float rod out back here, just drifting from side to side. Hopefully the garfish come in the middle. I'm in the middle of the bay at the moment. A lot of the garfish are in close. That's where they're chasing the lures up and stuff. So yeah, I didn't want to start anchoring up over there. So I thought I'd come into the deep, try for a, uh, a bream or anything else that's down here. There has been, there's been trigger fish caught in this bay before. So uh, one of them would be very nice. So all we're going to do is cast out. I'm going to throw a lure around as well. We're just gonna see what we can catch. This one's on the lure. <laughs> nice little bass. Ah, another shiner down. Only tiny little things at the moment. Hopefully they get a little bit bigger. Oh, there you go. Lovely little shiner. Garfish are in force on this little spot. Oh, I missed him again. They're jumping clean out of the water all around me. See if we can get him chasing it. There you go, guys. Look. Oh man. Oh, he's off. <laughs> See if we can get him under our feet. Here's the float. There we go. Look at that, guys. Straight underneath me. Oh, I missed him. We got one hook left. That one did literally a marlin jump and hit the bow of the boat. This is awesome fishing. It's always good fun. This. See if we can get them on the retrieve again, jumping out the water. Here they come. I can see the swirls behind the float. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Oh, they want it. Look at that, right at the boat. Oh yeah. God, they're big garfish as well. Look at the size of that thing. Come on, big boy. Let's at least get one in the boat. <laughs> Look at the size of that for a garfish. That's Captain Cook size, that one, guys. I'll get him on hook and I'll get you a better show. Look at that. That is a beautiful sized garfish. Also known as long nose around here. Great bait, great eating. That's why I want a few of them if I can. I've got some really old frozen prawns here. So I'm gonna see if the garfish will like a piece of these. This stuff comes off the hook very easy, but I'm hoping 
that I can get away with smaller chunks and hook them a lot quicker. I've just tied off to a crab pot here guys so we can be stationary right where the long nose are and hopefully I can get out the wind a bit. We were, we were just getting bites on the bream and all I seen was this rod go boom and it fell off the rail here and ended up at the back. <laughs> Garfish. Beautiful size. Nice ones. I'm literally fishing 10 yards out the back of the boat. There's a seagull. Oh, that was a bite. There's just fish everywhere. There's bass here, there's bream, garfish. We're finding them to that. This feels like a a half decent bass, I believe. Could be a ras. Oh, it's got to be a bass. Literally just chopped the lure out. Like, oh, I wonder if there's a bass around here. And lo and behold, what is it? Oh, it's a ras. That's a nice one. I thought that was going to be a big bass then. There you go. Lovely sized ras there on the lure. What a beauty. Love catching rats. They give such a good fight. There you go. Lovely sized fish. There we go. Beautiful collars on those rats. That one will go back nicely. Roll on you other fish. Come on. Is she going to jump? This garfish was jumping out of the water like a little marlin. Whoa, I nearly lost my rod. <laughs> it's definitely a big garfish. Check that out. <laughs> Oh, I love garfish fishing. So comical to watch them jumping like this. Right, let's reel her in. Come on in. Oh, that's a beauty of a garfish. Look at the size of that one. Another cracking size one. That's huge. Proper specimen as well. He's got hooked, so I'm going to dispatch him, get my hook back. Not really sure what I hooked here. I literally cast the rod out. Uh, the, I literally cast the lure out, and I hooked something as soon as it hit the water. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> Literally, as soon as that lure hit the water, it was like, bam! Seems to be a lot of these little tiny schoolies around, that's for sure. There you go. Lovely little shiner. Oh, rod's going. Rod's going. Go on, do it again. He's off. <laughs> I can see there's garfish jumping out the water everywhere. But they're very finicky, they're not taking the bait. I've got a size eight hook on. Tiny little slivers of uh, of mackerel and they're just they're very finicky. Extremely finicky. We have thunder and lightning approaching. Look how miserable that looks. I could end up extremely wet soon or struck by lightning. <laughs> so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to reel this fish in because my float's going under and then uh, I think we're going to call it there. Ah, fish on, fish on. Seems like quite a lot smaller one this one. Lovely little bait there. <laughs> oh, the jumps! Oh, the jumps! <laughs> oh, keep going! <laughs> He'll be on the boat in a minute. Oh, God, he's going crazy. There we go. The jumps on that. <laughs> that was great. The storm seems to be passing me a bit, guys. So, what I'm going to do is just carry on fishing for a minute and then I'll, I'll go sneak on my mooring in a minute. That'd be great. That's a beauty. Look at the size of that one. That's a monster. Hey, hey, I got 
<laughs> Come on. Come on, give us a jump. Give us a jump. Hey. <laughs> Oh, they're massive garfish. They're all just big ones. You get the odd little one in between, but most of them, they're going to be getting on for a pound, some of these. They're huge. Check the size of that, guys. Beautiful sized garfish. They're monsters. Beautiful. I had to quickly come in, guys. We've started to get lightning and stuff, so I've called it there. I've moored up now. I'm going to head home. And what we're going to do is we're going to catch and cook one of these big, big garfish that we got. Because some of them, these are monsters. Proper big garfish. So, fingers crossed, we get home in one piece and not get barbecued by a lightning bolt. I'll see you in the kitchen. And here it comes. <laughs> Look at this. It is belting it down. And we are here on the baby dinghy, baby. Let's get drowned. We're back in the kitchen, guys. We've got our beautiful bit of long nose here. Really chunky fish this one was. And what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna cut it into sections and cook it in some tin foil to see if it does the same as mackerel and falls off the bone. Three lovely pieces here. All I'm going to do is score the skin just with the knife, just like so. This is such a delicious fish, very underrated. And the interesting fact is they've got green bones. Don't know if you can see it in there. So, all I'm going to do is get this in the tin foil now and we'll start adding some ingredients. I'm going really simple with this today, guys. Just salt, pepper, and some nice fresh lemon. Garfish has got a great taste on its own, so you don't need a lot of stuff. Just a little bit of seasonings. And we're good to go. So I'm gonna leave it like this, just to get the full, just to get the full flavor of the fish. And hopefully, the bones will come out easily. Say guys, look at that. That is looking good. Let's see if it will flake off. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Look at how green the bone is inside of a garfish. That's crazy. So what I'm gonna do, sit down nicely. I'm gonna tuck into this. Looking forward to trying it this way. I've always liked bread, get down. I've always breaded uh, garfish because it is quite bony, especially along the flank there. There's quite a lot of bones. Oh, check that out. Oh, that's good. Delicious fish. It's so meaty. You want some? Come here. Up. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Right, sit. Wow, this is awesome. Definitely comes off the bone very easily. I was just curious if it did or not. Like with mackerel and a lot of other fish, you can just grab the bone, peel it off, job done. Mm. Such a meaty fish. It really is. Mm. And here, they're like long, thin bones along the belly flank, the bottom of the fish. There's hundreds of them. So you can see pretty much in this whole piece here, you would have to pick through with your fingers and just pull out all of these bones. They're sort of a V shape. So I would probably just stick to the top part of the fish. This part here, no bones whatsoever. Mmm. Like I say, you can just pick through the other ones after. 
definitely get a lot more meat doing it this way than trying to fillet it and cut out all the bones and stuff. Oh. A little green bone there, so nice. Want some? Spin. Good boy, spin. Spin. <laughs> he said it. Lay down. Good boy. You like the long nose, eh? That's a good snack right there, bud. Yeah, so overall, quite a success for cooking it this way. Definitely a little bit of a fiddly fish to eat, but delicious. Oh. The bones are so wiry though. Very small, wiry bones in this. But that top bit, that's that's the money one. Mmm. Want another piece, bud? There you go. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I'm gonna finish this off now. Nice, nice way of cooking garfish. So delicious and juicy. Really juicy fish. And it's great breaded as well. But I thought I'd experiment to see if I can get the bones out this way. But um Either way, you've still got to fiddle around a little bit. Smash, what's this? And look at that. Big green bones inside of them. One more piece. Give me kiss. kisses. 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 Oh, good boy. There you go. Oh, you like long nose? I like long nose too, mate. Hmm. So stay tuned for the next episode guys, I'll leave the video there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. There's going to be plenty more to come. It's my fishing baby. Woo! Oh, and if you want any merch, link's in the description.